Hey guys, thanks so much for watching. Today we're going to talk about emotional exhaustion and if you have, have it and how to overcome it and what God's word in particular says about it. I'm so pumped that you're here and we're going to just dive right into God's word. Listen, if you're not sure what emotional exhaustion is, I want to talk a little bit about it and talk about my own personal journey overcoming emotional exhaustion and mild depression. You know, perhaps you may be in a career right now and you're just getting very overwhelmed at work. Responsibilities upon responsibilities are getting added to you and life starts to feel like you're being stretched to the limits you might be on the border or already have emotional exhaustion. Or maybe you're a student, just entered the school year and you know tests are happening, midterms might be coming up, and you may be wrestling with an, a, a noticeable amount of sadness, but you're not really sure why. Or maybe you're a mom, you're staying at home with your kids and laundry's piling up and errands have to be run and kids have to be shuttled to and fro everywhere and you're just wrestling with an unreasonable amount of discouragement and you're not really sure why. Maybe you feel like you really, it's really hard to get out of bed in the morning. Maybe you just feel a little emotionally burned out. Do you know what I mean by that? I know that that is what I had and I'm going to talk about that in a minute. But first, check this out. Do you know one in 10 Americans wrestles with depression? One in 10. The World Health Organization says it's going to be the second most debilitating disease by 2020. Depression is in widespread, it's everywhere in every country, and it's increased over the amount of years. They say that in the year that we're living in, that it, people are twice as more likely to have depression. In addition, women are more likely to have it depression twice as much as men. So I want to talk to you about, because maybe this is something you've wrestled with or somebody that you know, somebody in your family, or maybe you're just having just a moment of discouragement. I want to talk to you about my own personal journey with this. When I was 22, I started going through just a very, very dark kind of a season where I felt like just a heavy cloud was over me. I noticed that I wasn't really having as much enthusiasm for life. I wasn't enjoying things as much. And it was particularly hard to get out of bed. I felt very lethargic, low energy. And that was when I started seeing a doctor and he told me that there's a condition called dysthymia. Dysthymia is low grade depression. It's not full blown depression. It's often not, medication is not prescribed, but dysthymia is a low grade depression. In the Greek, dysthymia actually means a bad state of mind. When I heard my doctor explain that, I was like, yeah, that's what I have. I have a bad state of mind. And I was like, well, what do I do? And he showed me a few things to do in the natural, and I'll share those in some upcoming videos. But I went to God and started seeking him in his word and started finding out maybe there was something that I was missing. And what God's word says about this, we're going to turn to Matthew chapter 11, verse 28. Maybe you know the verse. Come to me, all you who are weary and heavy laden, and you will find rest for your souls. The Amplified says, I will cause you to rest. I will ease and relieve and refresh your souls. I was Already my hunger, my appetite was getting wet. I was like, oh, I want to be eased and relieved and refreshed. And then the scripture says, take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I'm gentle and meek and humble of heart. And you're going to find recreation for your soul. For my yoke is wholesome and comfortable. My burden is light and easy to be borne. I'm going to stop right there and say, if you feel like your life is heavy burdensome, overwhelming, there's something wrong. I'm not saying that God doesn't cause us to have to bear responsibility and do difficult things. I'm saying if you've been in a prolonged season of discouragement, perhaps in dysthymia they say the word people use most often is irritable. You have been irritable for a prolonged season and feel emotionally burned out. Jesus wants to come and relieve and refresh your soul. 
And how do we do that? We look to Jesus and we find out, what am I yoking myself to that's unwholesome? That's not what you've called me to yoke myself to. That's not what you're desirous of. Because Jesus doesn't want you to live overwhelmed, overburdened, a heavy life. It's a light responsibility that he's calling you to. And what in my situation and in my journey, I discovered that what I had yoked myself to was my own works, my own striving, doing things in my strength and not the strength of the Holy Spirit inside of me from the inside out. I was getting overwhelmed and burned out because I was looking to myself and not to Jesus. So if that's you today, I want to just pray for you, let you know about some resources that we may have to encourage you, and also let you know you are not alone. There are so many who have wrestled with this, and Jesus himself understands it completely. So let me pray for you before we close. Father, I just thank you for every person watching, God, that you would begin to show them what the what they may have yoked themselves to, what is unnecessarily burdening them in their lives. And I pray, Father, that you would bring relief, refreshment, and I declare recreation for their souls, a new ease, a new season of wholeness, a new season of refreshing in Jesus' mighty name. I love you so much, and I'm so grateful that you tuned in and started watching today. I hope that I can stay connected with you and provide some more resources. I have a 10-day devotional that will be coming out soon on just how to overcome emotional exhaustion. Check the link below or check out my website at EileenWilder.com. I love you. I'll see you next time.